Do you want to learn how to draw this adorable little cartoon all off? If so, you are going to need something to do your drawing with, something to erase any mistakes that you might make, and a marker to outline your doodle when you are done. Don't forget the markers, the crayons, the colored pencils, or the paint so you could add a little color to this doodle. Grab all those supplies and let's get started! started on our Olaf. So I'm going to use my Sharpie marker. And remember, if you're going to draw directly in Sharpie marker, make sure you have a paper underneath to help collect your bleed through. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make Olaf's face. So we're going to start with his kind of high cheeks. And then I'm going to kind of come down on each side and I kind of want them even. I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing, high cheeks and come down. And then I can come down and kind of meet those two together. Kind of like a rounded V shape almost. Or a stethoscope shape. They kind of have a little bit of a stethoscope shape to them. Now they put the little ear things here, draw the stethoscope there. All right, so far we got his cheeks. Now we're gonna go ahead and do his forehead. So we are going to come up on both sides and kind of at an angle, this one's a little too straight, but angle in a little bit and then kind of go across. And you don't have to be that flat. Mine is very flat, but that's okay. All right, next we're gonna do the layers to his body. So I'm gonna go ahead and he's gonna be kind of a little bit, um, we're not trying to draw him exactly like Olaf. We're kind of going to break him down a little bit easier. So instead of having, he's got a little bit of a bigger rounded area here. We're going to kind of shorten it a little bit. And then we're going to kind of do the same thing at the bottom. Instead of making it super, I guess, accurate to how he actually looks, we're just going to kind of simplify it a little bit. And his feet are just going to be little nubs down there at the bottom. On his upper um, body part, we're going to do a circle, and then on the one, and then on the bottom body part, we're going to do two. And those are going to be his little dots. And you can color them in with your Sharpie. Just make sure you have a paper underneath, or else color them in with crayon. It'll look just the same. Now we've got the very top of his head. We can go ahead and draw in his little branch of hair that he's kind of got here and it's kind of like three little twigs so if you can draw it it's kind of I guess boxy like that then go for it if not then just kind of do straight lines with your brown marker and you will be just a fine all right now we're going to go ahead and right in the middle here and we're going to do his nose so I'm going to kind of do a curve over and then we're going to come down with the cone rounded and we're going to come back up and we're going to go ahead and add just a couple little carrot lines on that nose and let's go ahead and draw in for his mouth so we can do his big happy lines over here for his cheeks and we're going to come down and it's kind of squared there so don't kind of curve it kind of make it go down straight and across and then we can come down with the inner part of his mouth nice big mouth and then he's got that little tooth right here in the front go ahead and draw on his tooth do, do, do. looking like an Olaf now the only thing that I am I mean we're doing a couple things different here but I'm not going to give him the big Disney eyes I'm just going to give him little kind of like kawaii eyes um just that way it's you know my, I don't have to go through all those big details coloring him drawing him with this kind of design and using specific shapes he comes out looking like Olaf you know that it's him and we don't have to worry about doing all those 
more complex lines. Now his little arms here come in with two lines. You could do the same thing over here. Uh, Olaf was definitely my favorite character. And Sven. I think Sven was another one I really liked. And then you can draw the three little branch fingers here. So he looks like he's waving. If you want to draw snowflakes or anything extra, go ahead. And the very last thing he needs are his eyebrows. And that also helps kind of pull him together. And look at our adorable little Olaf. And you can add anything to the background that you want. Any little designs, um, snow, maybe you want to add a hat on top of him. You can add all sorts of things. So I'm going to use my Crayola Twistables to color him in. And he should be pretty easy because he doesn't have all that much color. So I'm going to go through with my black first and color in the little buttons or the coal that he has on his upper body and lower body here. And I'm going to kind of just color lightly and then I'm going to go in a little bit of darker black just to kind of help give it a little value. His eyebrows are black so I'm going to go through and color those in as well with the crayons. With the black crayon I mean. Okay, now I'm going to get my dark brown, and that is what I'm going to use to color his little branch here on the top of his head, and the branches for his arm, his little arm branches here. And there he is. He's so cute. Olaf was definitely my favorite. I always just loved what he, his little, his little quirky sayings. Gonna use some orange for his little carrot nose. Like when he sees the big snow monster. <laughs> and he's like, hey, so I think it's the snow monster. The second one I loved so much more than the first. So I kind of have to. But when he's like, when he looks, I think it's the snow monster about how he's heard about him and he's like, all good things, all good things. <laughs> No, oh, he's a funny guy. So now I'm gonna go around the outside with a little gray. And this is a very light gray. Like this is a very light color and it still comes out, um, I won't say dark, but it comes out a little darker than you'd think with how light the crayon looks. And I'm gonna add just a little shadow on his sides and underneath where his sections are overlapping and where his section overlaps his feet. Look how cute he is. Our little Olaf. All right, maybe a little under his carrot nose, just so that way we know the carrot is kind of sticking out. And oh, and don't forget his little tooth because it's, for whatever reason, it's a whole separate piece of snow. <laughs> All right, and then I different pictures show different things. Um, in some of them, he's got a blue mouth, and some of them, he's got a black mouth. So we're gonna mix the two together, and we are going to give him a blue layer and then a black layer. So he has both the blue and the black. And we've got our little Olaf. You could even add a little blue to all of the snow if you'd like. I'm gonna go over this with a little bit of black now. I don't know. There are so many movies that I want to watch with Christmas coming up. We are so close. I can't believe that we are just like one day away from Christmas Eve. Crazy. There's our little Olaf. He's so cute. I hope you had fun doodling Olaf with me today. If so, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And I can't wait to see you again next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.